We're back. You have purchased this beautiful basket from BubbaTree.com. It's called Katyelitia, which means a snail. Yeah. Correct? Correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct. Conch. Conch. Yeah, that's how we say Conch. Conch. Okay. Yeah. Conch. Conch. Will, I'm, I'm down with conch. <laughs> it, uh, it's a gorgeous basket. What happens often is that it, it's packed in a slightly compressed manner. Would you say it's, you, it's packed more like this? Yeah. All right. You're gonna pull it out of the ba out of the shipping uh, material, and it will probably come out a lit a little bit. But it's gonna need some water and reshaping to assume its original position. So. You guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray it with water. It appears that the weaver wove the basket in this position where it's sitting like this. These guys are gonna work their magic because they know what they're talking about. And I'll give uh, a, a rambling narrative and they will work their magic. This is Juanita, this is Gilbert, this is action. So Juanita is spraying the basket with a hose. Ideally, we want to do it in a place where the water runoff is going to go, where it can be used a second time. You can use a big industrial sink. You can use a bathtub. You can use the shower. But we want to get the fibers of the basket really wet. And that is what we're doing. And Bolgatang is a dusty place. It'll take off uh, the surface dust also. Is she spraying? Is she? Okay. Go for it, water follies. Spraying inside and out, spraying thoroughly. Again, ideally we want to use the water the second time. Let it go, drain into the lawn, a tree, some bushes. <laughs> hey, that's what we want. Shake out the excess, we'll let it sit for a few minutes. We'll pretend to let it sit for a few minutes. But for the purposes of this video, we will pretty much get straight into action, getting it to its original shape. Uh -huh, but we will also take action. Yes, that is action. <laughs> Samson, but action is a much more appropriate name for this guy. Okay, so they're getting inside the basket. All right, any obvious indentations or where the fold is too much, where it's been packed for shipping, the waves have come too far together. Uh -huh, we're spraying and opening them up, pushing from here, pushing underneath. Hold on, let me just show something. Uh -huh, we're trying to, we're, pushing this out a bit because when it was packed it was like that yes right so the structural integrity has been taken out of it by doing this you're pushing this out and you're making it assume its original shape if you guys want to add in your own little slight curves and so on and so forth do it we're just showing you how to get the original shape Just going around, checking it out. Running one's hands over the 
voluptuous curves of the basket. Excellent. There you go. The weaver wove it this way for it to sit this way. You might want to find a different, uh, you know, an, a, another way for it to sit. But this is its original position. Allow it to dry in a cool, dry place or a warm, dry place. Uh, generally, don't let them sit in the sun for too long. Our dyes will fade in the sun if, they're sit if the baskets are sitting in the sun. And that was the Cat Yelly Tia basket, the conch, the snails.